Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here. And in today's Red Dead Redemption 2 video, we are going to be talking about what happens to Sadie Adler after you beat the game. So a lot of you guys in my last video where I talked about Karen Jones and what happened to her after the epilogue said, Mr. Boss, you should dive into some of the other characters that we don't know about. And one of those characters we don't know about, even though her ending is sort of open-ended, is Sadie Adler. What happens to her and where does she go? Well, that's what I want to talk about in this video today. So as I'm sure you guys know by now, Sadie Adler is a huge part of not only the main story of Red Dead Redemption 2, but also the epilogue. She helps John kill Micah at the very end of the game. And uh, she's just a big part of not only Arthur's story, but John's story too. Now, the reason a lot of people are wondering what happened to Sadie is because after that final mission, American Venom, she actually returns to the ranch and can last be seen attending John and Abigail's wedding and celebrates with the others despite her stab wounds. However, sometime after Charles leaves, she gives her farewell to the uh, Marston family and leaves the ranch and you would assume that her fate is uncertain. And that scene can actually be seen in the final credits of the game, where she sort of says her goodbyes, hugs everyone, and then takes off. So again, that has left a lot of people wondering what happened to Sadie Adler. Well, there's actually two lines of dialogue that give us a pretty good idea of what she likely might be doing after we see her in the final mission of the game. The first line of dialogue comes in the mission American Venom, where John, Charles, and Sadie are all riding to Strawberry to try and meet Cleet to get information on where Micah is. And when they're riding together, Sadie says this about what she's going to be doing next. You know, I've been thinking I might get out of here too. Down South America, maybe? It's wild, but less mean, I guess. I'd run protection for a gold mine or take up with a handsome revolutionary. I don't know. Something. See something else, at least. That all sounds good. Yeah, it all sounds real fine. But we got some business to take care of first. Okay, so that was really interesting. Sadie says that she was going to be moving to South America or that she wished to move to South America to either hunt bounties down there or run protection for a gold mine or take up with a handsome revolutionary. So South America, you would think countries like Brazil or Argentina, Colombia, Venezuela, Paraguay, Uruguay, places like that. And uh, that would be kind of an interesting story. It also seems as if she has the idea to remarry or at least find some sort of romantic partner, as she says, take up with a handsome revolutionary down in South America. So it seems as if Sadie is just going to continue her bounty hunting protection sort of ways, but wants to completely leave this world behind and instead wants to move down to South America, which is a long way away from where they are right now, which would be like Texas in the southeastern United States. So that's the first time in which we get some information on where Sadie plans to go after the end of the game. The next comes in a mission called A Really Big Bastard, where Sadie actually comes to Beecher's Hope for the first time. And while sitting down with Uncle and John and Abigail, she talks about what she's doing now and what she plans to do for the future. Oh, but tell me about you, darling. No, armed to the teeth like that. I'm a working woman, Abigail. I'm a bounty hunter, bodyguard. I protect the gold prospectors up in the hills. I'm thinking of starting my own transportation business. I was thinking maybe if John wanted to earn some money. My husband, he ain't looking for that kind of work. Okay, so as you guys heard there from Sadie, she said she's taking up bounties, running protections for gold mine, and she has her own transportation business. Now, I'm not sure what that transportation business would be, whether that's literally getting gold from point A to point B, or whether it's, you know, protecting stagecoaches as they travel across the world. I'm not exactly too sure what that is, but again, it gives us a good idea of what she's likely doing. Now, the reason Sadie has the ability to do this, whereas another member of the Vanderlyn gang like Charles Smith might not have the option to, is because Sadie isn't publicly identified 
as a member of the Vanderlyn gang. And this is evidenced by a lack of mentions about her in the news relating to the gang. Whereas I just mentioned Charles Smith, Sadie's fellow gang member, is clearly mentioned as a part of the gang who is still on the run. And in addition to that, it also appears as if Sadie is not a wanted woman despite her past actions, like breaking John out of the Sisica Penitentiary, fighting against Pinkerton agents, helping the Wapiti Indians in battles, and participating in the robbery of the train carrying the U.S. Army payroll. However, this is indicated by the fact that she is not mentioned in a 1907 newspaper as a member of the Vanderlyn gang who is still at large. And obviously, her successful career as a bounty hunter requires her to frequently contact sheriffs and lawmen as well as having a good reputation. So the reason Sadie is able to do all this is because she has sort of slipped under the radar as a member of the Vanderlyn gang. And she really isn't associated with those that are wanted. So now that you know that, sort of getting back to the topic at hand, could we ever see Sadie Adler again in Red Dead Redemption 2? Well, it would have to be as a part of some sort of expansion or some sort of DLC because it clearly looks as if she is completely taken off. You're not going to find her in the Valentine or Blackwater Saloon anymore. I don't think she'll be located anywhere in the Red Dead Redemption 2 map. So again, this would have to be completed in a story mode update that takes place after the epilogue of Red Dead Redemption 2 because we couldn't do anything prior to that because she just would have been married to her husband Jake living at the Adler Ranch. That wouldn't exactly be too exciting. So that begs the question, would Rockstar ever take the Red Dead Redemption series to somewhere like South America if that's exactly where Sadie Adler went? I don't think it's totally out of the realm of possibility, especially what Rockstar did with Guarma, sort of the gang getting stuck on a tropical island. And despite the fact that that was one of the slower chapters of the game, I really did enjoy it. It was cool to see a completely unique and different setting from the one that we're currently wrapped in now in Red Dead Redemption 2. So could we see Rockstar going to South America? I think the answer is yes. How likely is that to happen? Well, that would of course all depend on if Rockstar is even going to focus on a single player DLC for Red Dead Redemption 2. Right now it seems as if their focus is clearly based on Red Dead Online, which is what we saw them do even in GTA with Grand Theft Auto Online. So in that regard, I'm not exactly too optimistic, but I think that would be one of the coolest themes that Rockstar could explore, following the life of Sadie Adler and her new journey in South America, where she's the main character and she's the one in charge. That would be so cool, because not only is Sadie Adler one of the best female characters Rockstar's ever created, she's one of the best characters in general that Rockstar's ever built. And the fact that she's just sort of like, rides off into the sunset and we don't see her after that final encounter, I want to know more about her story. What becomes of her and what will she do after departing from the gang for the final time? Now, one thing I thought of that could be pretty neat, and this, of course, is just my opinion and speculation, but you know the famous gunslinger Black Bell that you can actually go after? That sort of reminds me what Sadie, I think, would be like in 20 or 30 years. Just this, you know, old gunslinger on the run that's constantly fighting off bounty hunters. Like, it would also be unique and interesting if Rockstar did a time jump, especially if it's no longer following the story of John, because we clearly know what happens to him. What if we jump to, like, 1914 or 1920, and we see, like, an older, you know, more bad-to-the-bone version of Sadie Adler, if that's even possible? I don't know. I was replaying the Black Bell mission the other day, and it sort of got me thinking of this, that this really reminds me of what Sadie would look like, like 20 or 30 years from now. So I think that would be pretty cool. So as always, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below, because I think there's a lot of different interesting angles to discuss here. Number one, what do you think happened to Sadie Adler after the epilogue in Red Dead Redemption 2? Do you think she went down to South America? Do you think she's still in the world, omnipresent? We just can't see her. She's just hunting bounties and doing her thing. Or do you think something completely different happened? And also, what do you think of Rockstar doing a Sadie Adler expansion where we follow her life in South America or wherever Rockstar decides to take her? Again, let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. 
and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new, or you like daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos like this. With all the way, guys, like I said, thanks so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.